everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I'm going to demonstrate how you guys can make your own duct tape dress form at home. Back when I was in high school, I made my own and it was really useful until I was able to have an actual dress form. So I hope this video helps you guys out and let's get started. You do want to wear something, I guess, that's fitted. Back when I made mine in high school, I just wore a loose t-shirt and that worked as well. But if you want to quickly sew up your own dress to use, I basically made mine by cutting out a rectangle piece out of stretchy fabric and cut a hole for my head. Then I sewed up the sides, leaving an opening for the arms at the top. So first I'm gonna have Eric come and help me tape this underneath my bust just so we can define the curves right now. Make sure you're using good quality duct tape so it really sticks and you'll need about two to three rolls. Then we started taping diagonally over the chest to the back side and just continued overlapping the duct tape until everything is covered up. We started taping horizontally across the chest to cover up more area. Just make sure that it's laying nice and flat. To tape up the neck, we laid down some plastic wrap and taped over it. For the waist, we thought it would be easier to just wrap the duct tape around over and over again, but learned that the tape lays down the best when you tape it down vertically or diagonally especially over the butt area. You don't want to tape it horizontally because the tape will separate. After realizing this, we went back and added vertical strips of tape over the horizontal pieces for a cleaner look. And next, to get out of this, um, Eric's going to take his scissors and cut right through the dress all the way up to the back. Yeah, I cut through the back. <laughs> That's scary, I can't see anything. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, oh, okay, 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 I see. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> also, afterwards, I'll show you guys. So, if, you're, if you do want a little more chest on your dress form, just because you do wear a bra in your um, garments and whatnot, you can put shoulder pads here. Like just tape them over here just to help shape them more because your boobs do kind of disappear. Well, especially if you're already flat chested like me, they are going to just disappear. I'm gonna try to put the top, right? Oh, yes, here we go. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it, actually. Are you done? Yeah. Da-da-da-da-da! So this is what we did. We cut it open through the back, as you can see. And then this is what it ends up looking like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now to close up the back side, we're just going to go ahead and tape it up. This was really challenging, taping the back side closed, because you want to make sure that the two sides are even, or else you'll have two lopsided butt cheeks. Eventually, we got it down, and after it's stuffed, you can reinforce it some more. Now, taking some newspaper and scrap fabric, we stuffed it up enough to fill out the shape, but not too much that it distorts it. To finish off the bottom, I cut out an oval shape out of cardboard that will fit the bottom of the mannequin and taped it down. And we did the same to the neck. Since we had an old lampstand sitting at home, we were able to cut a hole at the bottom of the dress form through the cardboard and attach it on. It still moves around a lot, but it's better than when I had mine hanging from the ceiling. If you want to add more boob to your dress form, you can tape on some shoulder pads or recycle some sticky boobs AKA chicken cutlets that are no longer sticky. The chicken cutlets um, definitely help give some more shape to the chest because after 
Mine was done being all taped up. It was just flat. I know this dress form is not perfect, but it's better than nothing. And it can really help you imagine and visualize your design and bring it to life more. I wouldn't base all my measurements off of this. I would use it as a guide, but afterwards I would try it on my actual body. This is just so you can see it off of yourself. So some cons about this dress form is that sticking your needles in it, um, it might get some of the goo from the tape and make your needle sticky. If you don't care, then whatever, but I know sometimes when if you are draping your fabric on here, it can pull the thread of your fabric. But that's why it is important to also make your samples and do your draping on muslin so that you don't ruin your actual fabric. I think the only other con was that it was a pain in the butt to make this. Um, took us a very long time. We are both exhausted. So if you're up for it, definitely try it out for yourself, but you will need at least two people helping you make this. So the last time I made one of these, I was 17 years old in high school and I thought it was pretty cool. But now since I have my own actual dress forms, I would rather use those than this any day. But for those of you that can't afford one right now, this is what I started off with. And if I can find old pictures, I'll show you. I just had it tied to a rope and it hung on my ceiling just dangling around my room Ooh, there's a headless person look this is my mannequin we're smart for using it as a ghost so this is an actual dress form and this is a size four so just in comparison um when i do drape i drape on the size four so i guess it's pretty similar but also, even though the size is not true to me, I don't base it off of this. I just use it as an example and then afterwards, I'll put it on myself and make adjustments to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and that some of you try it out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!